Candidate, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, you want to look around first before you proceed? Yes. So this is your station. You're going to do a catheter sampling assessment, okay? And your clinical scenario, the patient is in the hospital. Okay. When you're ready, your timer starts now. Pump, 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 blossom, pump, blossom, in the list, in the loop, in the loop, thumb, thumb, chips, chips, Uh I will proceed to my patient. Uh, Mr. Assessor, can I confirm uh, if pre checks are done? All pre checks are done. I want you to proceed to preparing your equipment. Okay. Assuming I have uh, identified my patient and introduced myself, yep. I will explain the procedure and gain consent. Yep. Uh, I will proceed to uh, to expose my patient a little bit after gaining consent so that I check if uh, the foot is moveless or not. I'm just going to expose my patient a little bit. Uh, the pot is needleless, so I will cover my patient and I will proceed to prepare my treatment. I think it's sick. Your gloves and aprons are good to go. Your tray was washed in the last 24 hours with soap and water. I'm now going to introduce the treatment that I'm going to use. Uh, I've got my 10 mil syringe, which is intact and in date. Um, I have my cleaner wipes, which are intact and in date. I have another cleaner wipe, which is intact and in date. Um, here I've got uh, the claim. Uh, Mr. Assessor, is it set to use? Is it brand new or? It's brand new and it's multi use. Okay. So uh, it's set to use uh, and I will wash it according to the manufacturer's guidelines. Uh, here I've got uh, my sample container. Uh, Mr. Assessor, can I confirm if it's set to use? Yeah, proceed. And the and I can also give it this time. Uh, so it's an alcohol swab here. Uh, it's in that and set to use. I'll take uh, two pairs of uh, gloves. So it's still less than four hours. So I'm sorry, I won't be able to give you that. So I'll tell it to the doctor so that maybe you can do something else. Oh, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Now uh, I will proceed to my patient. So because uh, there is a I will re-identify my patient uh, in three consent. Uh, then I will check the urine uh, bag. If there is urine, I will empty it and I will document in the input uh, chat. Uh, with my patient's consent, I am going to expose a little bit. Uh, I cannot uh, give you the amoxicillin because it's also a penicillin and it's on my VDH. So I just get this. Okay, um, I'm going to write a two for meeting the card. I'm 
going to place my clamp a few centimeters away from the pot. Uh, Mr. Assessor, this is supposed to be done uh, 30 minutes prior to the Maybe procedure. Maybe your regular medications. Mm -hmm. um, you have uh, liver thyroxine. Yeah. I'm going so to take um, okay. 100 micrograms. Yeah. It's supposed to be given daily, orally. It's continuing. It's also due I'm going to take time. my clinio wipes. Um, but according to BNF, uh, and uh, I will clean the catheter port in 30 seconds. One, two, Proceed. three. I'll let, uh, I'll let it dry for another 30 seconds. Proceed. Mr. Assessor, can I rectify something? Uh, I'm supposed to be having my, my microbiology form and uh, the bag. So I'll remove my gloves and collect them. Okay. I've got my microbiology bag, which is intact and safe to use, and the form. Yep. Now I'm going to, to, to withdraw. Making sure that I keep the tip of the syringe uh, sterile, I will support underneath the pot and making sure that I don't touch the opening. I will deflate 10 mules. Deflate or aspirate? Okay. Uh, Mr. Assessor, can you continue? I'm, to, uh, I'm going to put it back into the packaging to keep it sterile. Then I'm going to open my sample so tube also during my time and place the lid upside down to keep it sterile again. Mm -hmm. so I'm going to check my urine sample and without touching uh, the tip of the syringe and the opening of my sample bottle, I'm going to put my sample into the sample tube. I will discard the syringe and close. Uh, I will make sure that I label uh, my patient's sample at a bedside so that I avoid errors. I'm going to. Uh, I can see you're not been uh, prescribed any uh, intravenous fluids. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put my uh, sample into the uh, microbiology bag, uh, and I will send it uh, to the lab within four hours. But if I don't manage to send within four hours, I will make sure that I keep the sample in a fridge with a uh, temperature of not more than or less than four degrees Celsius. I also make sure that my patient's form uh, has got the correct details and if my patient has got uh, a hike in temperatures, so I make sure that it's labeled or if they are on antibiotics, I will make sure that it's Proceed labeled. Nurse. I'm going to take another pair of gloves. Hello. Uh, is this all right? Can I give you the medicine? Yes, please. Do you have some water? Ah, uh, no. Okay. It's fine. Okay, here's the water. Uh, I will clean the pot for okay. 30 seconds. Uh, this is, uh, your inner and you allow it to dry for another 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. And I will remove the clamp. Uh, I will wash the clamp according the to the manufacturer's guidelines. Uh, oh, and okay. place it where it's safe so, for the next uh, use. Uh, this will help, will help you to reduce your blood pressure. I will cover up my patient. You have some side effects like uh, dizziness or light headedness. Mm -hmm. So I'll be here for the next And minutes. after she that, I'm going to talk to my patient. Uh, I will help educate them on uh, okay. signs and symptoms of urinary tract infection, such as pain and, uh, when passing yes, urine or uh, passing yeah. uh, cloud urine. Um, I'm going to send the sample to the lab, then I will relay the results to the doctor who will give an individualized management. I will once again confirm if my patient is comfortable and I will leave them with a the cold bill in case they need anything.
Kick. Hey, hey.